everyone welcome to another short video of anypoint code builder my name is alex martinez i am a developer advocate here at mulesoft and today we are going to learn how to secure properties before deployment before we start let's go through some prerequisites you're gonna need to have an anypoint platform account you can create a free trial account in anypoint.mulesoft.com you will have to install Visual Studio Code on your local computer. And inside Visual Studio Code, make sure that you install the AnyPoint extension pack. You also have to make sure that you have installed Git in your computer. And we are going to be using a REST client. This REST client can be anyone that you prefer. It can be Advanced REST Client, Postman, Curl, or the Thunder Client extension. All right, so let's get started. We have a very basic mule project right here in AnyPoint Code Builder. We have two configuration files, the global.xml and the hello mule.xml, and just one dev.properties file. So in the hello mule.xml, we can see that we have the flow. Inside the flow, we have an HTTP listener. So if we click on it, we will be able to see the path, which is hello mule. And this is connecting to the HTTP listener configuration. If we go to the set payload, we have just this hello mule message that we are sending in the value. Now, if we take a look at the global.xml file, we only have the HTTP listener configuration that we are setting up for the HTTP listener. In this case, we are setting up the host as HTTP listener host and the port as HTTP listener port. Also, we have some configuration properties set up here with the EMV property and then dot properties. In our case, we are just using dev dot properties, but in theory, you should have one properties file per environment. So you can have one for local, one for QA, one for staging, one for prod, and so on. And finally, our dev dot properties file, which contains the HTTP listener host and the HTTP listener port. So the first thing we are going to do is to create a new properties file where we will be securing our properties. So go to resources and click on new file. This new file will be called dev.secure.properties. And inside it, we will be creating only these two properties, example.username and example.password. This is just as an example, as you can see here. The next step is to configure the secure properties in your global.xml. So go into your global.xml, start writing secure, and then select the secure properties configuration that is the built-in snippet. Once you select it, let me make this bigger, you will have the name secure properties config. You can change this if you want. The file will be env.secure.yaml. In our case, we are using properties. So make sure you change that accordingly. And the key is going to be encryption key. Let's just change it to secure.key. And then if we see what else was added, there was also a new secure properties algorithm added, which is a blowfish. And that is what we are going to be using in this video. And also remember to never, ever, ever hard code your secure.key or your encryption.key property into your code. You will have to keep it outside of your code by passing it as an argument at runtime. After you add the secure properties, there will be a new dependency added to the POM XML. So if you open it and scroll down until the dependencies part, you will be able to see this new dependency which is the mule secure configuration property module. Now let's go ahead and set up some loggers. So in our hello mule.xml file, let's add a new logger by searching it here. Once you add it, you can select the new logger and add a message here. In my case, I am gonna select a mule expression or a data weave expression. So make sure to select the FX button from this part. This will change the syntax right here, and then you will be able to add your own expression. In my case, this is the expression that I will be using. I will be setting up username and then concatenating the value of the property that we have secured. So in this case, we have to add secure colon colon example dot username in order for MuleSoft to be able to get that information. 
Let's rename this logger to username. And I'm going to copy this and paste it in a new logger. So search for a logger, put it there, and then open it. This is going to be called password. And in the message, again, put the expression here, paste it. And now this is going to be password. And here, password. Awesome. Just as a last thing, something that I like to do is to open my command palette and select format document so all of my XML looks good. Now let's learn how to encrypt our properties from our dev.secure.properties file. First of all, I'm going to show you an unofficial way of doing this using the UI. This is a URL that is maintained by MuleSoft, but it doesn't have official support. First, I'm going to copy my username dev, which is a value that I want to encrypt. And if we go to the UI, the operation will be encrypt. The algorithm, we will change this to blowfish. The state is going to be CVC. That is OK. The key is going to be my MuleSoft key. So this is the encryption key that I am going to use, but you can use whichever you want. And finally, the value will be my username dev. So you can click on generate and we can see the result being outputted right here. So that is one way, but because this is not the official way of doing it, we will have to go through the long route. For that, you will have to go to the mule docs where it says secure configuration properties. You can find the link in the description of the video. And then scroll down or select encrypt properties using the secure properties tool. Let's download this jar file that is located here. Make a note of where in your system you downloaded this file to. In my case, I downloaded it to the downloads folder. Next, if you scroll down a little bit more, you will find here an example. So you can copy this. Go back to your Visual Studio code and I am going to open a new terminal by clicking on terminal, new terminal. Now I have here my hello mule terminal. And let me open a new empty file so you can see the command before I actually run it. So this is all the command. We are going to be using a string. We are going to encrypt using the Blowfish algorithm, the CVC. And here we have to put our MuleSoft key. In my case, it's my MuleSoft key. And then the value to encrypt is what I am going to take from the properties file. So let's copy this and run it. Just make sure that you are under the downloads folder or whatever you downloaded your jar file. And here we go. So let's copy this value and go back to our dev secure properties. We are going to replace it with the syntax of exclamation mark and then brackets. And inside the brackets, we will put this encrypted value. Now let's do the same with my password dev. So let's get this from here, put it here and run this enter. And now we have the value. So again, let's just copy this, go back here and add the syntax that we need. And there we go. We have successfully encrypted our properties. And now before we run this application, let me just go back here to our global properties. We already have set up the HTTP listener host, the HTTP listener port, and our two encrypted properties. But what about the env property and also the secure.key property. We have to pass this somehow. And as I said before, we do not want to hard code the secure.key into our code. So to do that, first go back to your AnyPoint Code Builder extension. If you go here to the top, you will find an open ACB settings button. So click on that. And right at the top, we have the mule runtime default arguments. So let's go to the end of this. And right at the end, we are going to be adding these two new properties. So dash M dash D, the first one that we needed was EMV, and this is going to be set to dev. And the second one is dash M dash D secure dot key. And this was set to my MuleSoft key. 
Again, whichever key you use to encrypt your properties is the key that you will have to use right here. Once we added those two, we can go to the Run tab, make sure that you have selected here the Debug Mule application and click on Run. Once this is deployed, you can run this with your REST client. In my case, I am using the Thunder client extension for VS Code. So I'm going to click on New Request and then put here localhost 8081 slash hello mule. So let's send this. And we correctly received the hello mule body. And now if we take a look here in our logger, we correctly have the username, my username dev, and the password, my password dev which means that our decryption was done perfectly. But we are not done here. We still have to deploy our application. So let's stop this and see what else we have to prepare. Now, if we open the hello mule.xml file once again, we will be able to see this deploy button, or we can also open the command palette by selecting command shift P or control shift P, and then looking for MuleSoft. And you will see here right away that there is a deploy to Cloud Hub part. So either click on the button or click on this command palette. It will ask you to sign into your Anypoint platform. So let's do that. Once we have logged in, we will see that a new deploy.json file has been created. It is asking us if we want to deploy right away with this configuration. In my case, I am not going to do that just yet because I need to add the two properties that we added from the runtime locally, the EMV and the secure.key. We need to add them here too somehow. So first of all, if I come here, I can put properties. And I am going to set this up as EMV and the value will be dev. I can save this, but I cannot add my secure.key to this part because I will be hard coding it once again into my code. And that is not what I want to do. So to do that, I cannot do it in the deploy.json, but I can do it in the mule slash artifact. We will have the minimum mule version, and then we will add the secure properties. So you can open quotes, add secure properties, and then here we will have to add an array of strings. Each string will be one property. In my case, I just have the secure.key property that I need to secure. Once you do that, you are ready to deploy again. So let's go back to the hello mule.xml file and click on deploy. And now it's going to ask me for the secure.key. So I can write my MuleSoft key and press enter. Then it's going to ask me for the environment. I am going to choose sandbox and it will start deploying automatically. So congratulations, you learned how to secure or encrypt your properties from Anypoint Code Builder and how to deploy them to Cloud Hub right away. Now, don't forget to follow us before you go. I know you're very busy and you have a ton of things to do, but please remember to follow us on our socials and to check out our community links. All right, that is all. I will let you be and I will see you in the next video. Bye.